And just like that. All right, and we're back. We're back. Oh my goodness, it's been, it's, it hasn't been that long, it right? It hasn't, no. it really hasn't. No, no way. It's like we never left. We never left. <laughs> Here we are still. Here we are still. We haven't <laughs> left this spot. I haven't gotten up yet since the last experience. We're not lying at all, no as you way. can tell from our clothes. We're so, back today. We're back today with a, an experience. Probably our tastiest experience yet. To date, yes sir. We are here to show you the Terps of Tropicana, Tropicana cookies. cookies. It's gonna be a yummy one today. Our normal supply comes from uh, the medical dispensary known as Cura Leaf. We love hey, you. Hey, we love you. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. you. Lots of great strains. Yes. Strawberry diesel, Afghani, orange kush cake, layer cake. Go watch them. Cinderella. Go watch them now. Watch them right now. If you haven't already. Here they all are. You're only doing yourself a disservice if you haven't yet. Exactly. Go educate yourselves. Go have some fun. Go smoke some weed. Anyways. Do you have a hypothesis of how this is gonna go? Well, three um, bowls back to back, my blasting. Ed my educated guess of how our experience of Tropicana cookies might go is bowl one's gonna be uh, all flavor and maybe a maybe a, 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 a gentle rise into uh, you know a calming effect, and then into bowl two, probably a, a nice warm seat has been taken, you know, like nice firm, like yes, we are now seeing our energy kind of draining and feeling our shoulders relax and conversation flows freely. And then I think bowl three, we might not be uh, as in a sedating place as Afghani put us, maybe not even, I would say probably closer to layer cake in the, like the third bowl of layer cake where that one was tiring, but really not, not in the ways we were sleeping. It was more or less in the sense of like, our brains had been going through such a journey. Right. We were just like, kind of like at the end of that. Yeah, so let's freaking get right into it. Let's do uh, it. Let's do it. All righty. All right. Here's to, Here's to Tropicana. Tropicana cookies. Yeah. Keeping it tropical in the can. Nah. Big torch. Big torch! torch! All right. Oh, man. Man, oh, man. What can I say? Tasty. Quite. Very delicious. Quite, quite. Oh, my god. Smells goodness. wonderful. Oof. Oh, yeah. I, I remember opening the cup. It smelled like an orange field, but for those Orlando locals or Disney folk, it smells like when you're going to the orange groves on the ride Soarin'. Ooh. And they blast you with an orange scent to make you feel as if you were flying above an orange grove. <laughs> That's pretty accurate, though. Yes. I will say that this is definitely giving me like a immediately like very floral taste as well. What? Because <coughs> it's it's not giving me like again as somebody that doesn't actually like consuming a real orange in real life just because I don't like the acidity of it. For me, it just, no matter how hard I I used cry. to hate oranges because they're too damn hard to open. You have to peel them. It's a long process, but then I learned you just have to get, get in the, the nitty gritty with it. Get your fingernail in there and peel the skin off. Yep. Slowly and just, just rip it off. And slice it. With yeah. The, if, you got a, if you have a, a decent nail, you can really peel that, if, that open. Yeah. Um, but I just, I, I really, uh, I don't like the acidity of, of orange juice or orange or, or regular oranges in real life. However, these strains, orange kush cake, Tropicana cookies, they've been incorporating this very light tartness of the orange peel, like something you might get if you were having a cocktail that had like, like a, a twist of orange peel in there. Just enough to get like the essence of it that's very, very, Pre it's present. This strain contains this very like <coughs> the same kind oh. of smell you get uh, on your in, on your tongue or like really prevalent in your nose when you're like passing through that part of Publix or Walmart 
uh, where they have like all the flowers. Yeah. Or, or like sometimes if you're like walking in, like if you're going like a CVS, they might have like a, oh, get these roses. They're seven bucks, you know? And yeah. They're like right next to the door and they're wet. Oh. <laughs> Hanging out by the Wet Roses. That's uh, a that's a band that, name. Uh, ooh. Thank you. We were the Wet Roses. Yeah. Um, <laughs> soggy and wet, soggy and wet, coming at you like a swift of wet jet. Soggy and wet, <laughs> soggy and wet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Glitter. I oh. hate glitter. <laughs> Top ten things I hate. Number six, glitter. Top 10 things I love. Glitter. It's great for the ocean. Let's get a bunch of glitter and just start pouring it Pour in the ocean. The ocean. <laughs> I'd love to see the picture of the big old vat that's just like dumping glitter in the ocean. The, the got, reporters standing in front of it like, we need to do something about this. You got, <laughs> just flowing. You got, you got like some people there that are like, you got a, you got a kayak paddle. They're just like stirring all the oh glitter God. up in the ocean. So hard to get it off the floor. It stays around forever. <laughs> so many fish, they consume it. If you come into contact with a glitter person, you're gonna people are gonna be like, oh, what's that in your beard? Oh, it's glitter. And you're they're gonna be like touching your beard. And you're be like, I need you to stop. <laughs> man, oh man. They're gonna man, be like, oh you catch it, be like, look, Pa, I caught a glitter fish again. Be like, all right, Tommy, try catching another one. Catch a different one. Catch please. a different one, please. They're, they're, they're fishing in the, yeah, that'd be a good commercial. And then it's like a shaving cream commercial. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You're like, what? <laughs> but they, yeah, <laughs> but you're right though. Like good commercials, they, they catch you on a, like a real good question of like, how do we get, <coughs> how, 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 how do we get here? <laughs> Road shave. <laughs> Road shave. Not what you expected. <laughs> With road shave, it's always what you need. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> What's cool about Tropicana cookies, if you sprinkle any amount of it with other strands, it will make it taste better. <coughs> so if you really want to be like one of those people, imagine you can keep some Tropicana and you can almost have that as like a, almost like a salt. You know, you can keep it even in a salt shaker, right? You grind it up and then every time you want to add a little flavor to a joint, Throw some, a little bit of Tropicana in there, and you're freaking, you're off to something tasty. That is something incredibly important to mention about Tropicana cookies. Is like, and a lot of other strains is like something to open your mind <coughs> to the concept of something to be like. A lot of people don't even think about doing. They just think about this is this, <coughs> this is one strain I have. I'm only going to smoke one strain at a time, and sometimes you can put two together. And the two can pair really well if you play them together really well. Like, <coughs> you need, say, for instance, like, hey, I need something that's gonna really break my, uh, like, emotional downward spiral and reset, like, my brain a little bit, you know? Um, and get me back to a place where I can reassess myself. Um, and I need something that's gonna be extremely potent to do that in, like, a, a emotional regulatory property. So I need, like, a heavy indica. Um, or I need something that's going to be lo along that line. Um, and sometimes if you have like two uh, strains, like a indica dominant hybrid, and you have like a bedtime indica, you can mix the two of those and find yourself with an extremely useful blend of herb that can be useful in that way. Or yeah. it can be used for, for like, again, if you need something for like bedtime as well, you can like, Mix two indicas together. Yeah, make a freaking like an anchor. You know, a salad. Dro drop the anvil. Drop the, the anvil. Line. Yeah. Ping. Roll three like <clears throat> nice indicas together. That'd yeah, be amazing. That, that's always nice. But uh, I, I, I've had great experience with in the mornings rolling a, a very thin indica joint, mm. and it's it it gets me going just right. Yeah. Without being too much of. It just gets you loose. The anvil. Yeah. Yeah. And you were not like anticipating uh, a day at like a million miles an hour. We're like, this is my day. Yeah, yeah. We're not like, not, we're not like dragging our heels though, you know. Mm. But I, I like being in that state in the morning. I feel like a lot of people never expect indicas to be used in that way because of how they're marketed and a very like uh, sedating effect. I, I've been thing. I've been on the indica kick. Lately, I used to be a sativa fiend. Ooh, yeah. now we're 
Now we're indica chill. It, it's so much, oh my God, it's so chill. I'm just like chilling, you know, feeling completely relaxed. I feel like I can just kind of approach different situations and feel very calm and stable. Whereas, you know, sometimes when you're off that sativa kick, it's like, you're like, whoa, man, like it has taken me way too long to do things. And that is not what I need right now. <laughs> yeah. I just thought about, you know, I, I saw the whole, my whole life play out in my eyes and I'm just standing here trying to send a, like a fax or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. I'm trying to copy this paper and I'm sitting there and I'm like thinking all these things I'm like, wow. And then I'm like, oh, well, it's four minutes went by. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Well. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. That was a lot of brain power. I feel like sometimes like I'll, I'll, some strands, like it's like, I'll be in my head thinking so much. It'll make me tired. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh, that was a lot of thinking. I'm gonna go to sleep now. Seems like seems like a lot happened, yeah. Yeah. Man, <coughs> I definitely have had that happen to me plenty of times. And it's like, those are scenarios where like, it can, if you're not in the right place, that can get in the way of like things you need to get done. It's like, hey, I'm just at Walmart and I need to get groceries but now I'm like yeah too busy thinking about what this food reminds me of and I'm not even gonna put it in my cart but it just makes me think of this memory <laughs> and this up. show I'm just and imagine you're staring at the food in the Walmart I'm like I'm looking at thing. jello pudding I'm like nice. I'm not gonna get it but it does remind me of the lunchbox I used to have and you know it had all four of the mystic force power rangers on there and I remember having arguments over who is which power ranger and again five minutes goes by in the store and Useless time. Useless time. Useless, or it's useless conversation in my head. There's even some that I feel like almost stress me out even more. I remember like, uh, not that this happens every time I smoke these strains, but like I was smoking like Jet Fuel Gelato, which is something I really liked. I really like, I like that one. That one's Love sick. that Jet Fuel Gelato is awesome. Gelato is a great lineage. But that one, I felt like my, I was like, I put my brain on full graphics mode or something. Woo! And I was just like really stressed. I'm like, this sucks. <laughs> I wish I was smoking orange kush cake. <laughs> you're like, a different vibe. <laughs> you're, you're, you're running uh, the extreme graphics on like a 2012 computer. Yeah, my brain's like, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> the lag. Yeah. It's an overheat. I do feel pretty, uh, right now I feel very relaxed. Yes, so far, Calm. bowl number one, these uh, effects are Steady. very much uh, um, emotionally soothing. Before I smoked this, uh, this bowl, I felt like more or less my energy level was at a high gear, and my body and my brain is like, we left work about an hour and some change ago, you know? I feel that. And we have not completely left the building and everything that I was doing in a high pace, you know? And so, like, everything that's happening, even though it's at a very like easygoing, controlled pace for me right now, afterwards, <coughs> it's still, my brain's like, go, 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 go. And then like the idle brain, still at that speed, it's like the engine's still hot, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, so <clears throat> this is starting to help me cool down. This one definitely helps me chill out. Yeah. Which is nice, cause like, you know, similar, you know, like I'm, I'm going on a big trip pretty soon. So like, I'm just, I'm just thinking of all the shit I need to do, you yeah. know, all the things I need to do. So, but right now I'm, I'm not, I'm just thinking about this bowl, which tastes great. Yeah. So that's nice. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's wonderful. Yummy and soothing. Yummy and soothing. That's reminiscent of strawberry diesel so far. Yes. I think that's the most, like most th like uh, likely thing to comp compare it to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Go check it out if you don't know what we're talking about, silly yeah. willies. And we have a strawberry diesel experience. Wow. Yes. Look at us, look at us back then. So young. So young. Anywho, how's your bowl looking, son? Mmm. It's looks looking like, a little bit too green. Looks like you need to finish your vegetables. <laughs> oh. I almost stop my plate. These are ones I'm happy to finish. Imagine like someone's dad's like, eat your vegetables. <coughs> and they hand you like a plate of tomatoes and you're like, what? <coughs> <coughs> plate of raw tomatoes. They're like sliced. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> the big 
Wide sliced tomatoes. Wet slices. Oh God. That'd be my worst nightmare. And you just, oh God. I, and they're warm. You got all that gross tomato water all over the place. Tomatoes are all right. You, I mean, you just like, I Big like- Big fan of ketchup. I was gonna say, like- you, Ketchup's the, great. I like tomato products, tomato sauce. I like sun-dried tomatoes. Yeah. I like, you know, like, uh, I like when tomatoes are in my tacos and my burritos. You know, I salsa like- Salsa verde. Yeah, bread salsa, bread, bread salsa, you know, like, I, I- Damn, I, I'm getting hungry. Like, tomato product, it just, you gotta do something to the tomato. Yeah. Sometimes it does, it does really pair well with a burger, but like, yeah, sometimes, I'm, uh, sometimes I'm like, ah, I could do without this tomato on here. You know, adding a thin, like, juice, like, it just makes, you know, it does make it juicier. I you know, will say. But, but, you know, sometimes I don't feel like tasting all this tomato. You're right. I just want to taste the meat. Uh, you're right. But um, I'm a dry sandwich kind of guy. This has been covered. And we went over this We've before. Covered. We're referencing a lot from our past. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but uh, you best have been paying attention. <laughs> this is becoming a test. What of this warning sign? This is now a test. You're now entering the test zone. Anyway, I, the last thing I'll say about tomatoes on on a burger is that they just need to be sliced thin. Don't like thick tomato slices. Gross. I just say like sometimes it really fucks up. It really messes up the coordination of the burger, where it's like, now it's sliding all over the yes, place. Yes, yes, and it's it acting won't, like a drunk driver, you and know? You, and you'll bite off part of it, and now it's like, a lot of it's still hanging off by like, the, the outside brine of it. And yeah, it's the, like, the, the bun has like, conjoined with the, with the, with the tomato, so now it's like, in oh, it. I'm, I'm gonna be off to the side now, we're gonna be like, drifting off, like, the tomato's not really making an agreement with the meat, so mm -mm. it's just sliding all around, and, mm -mm. man. Gotta love tomatoes. Uh, <laughs> burgers are amazing. <laughs> In conclusion, Your Honor, burgers are amazing. All right. Let's finish these bowls. I sentence you to one bowl finishing. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> After the first bowl, my goodness. Did its job pretty good. It, it did its job good. I would almost consider promotion <laughs> to second bowl. <laughs> Drop can. See me in my office. All right. It's about to be time for. I think it's about time. For. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. No. Oh, 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 oh. 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 You okay? It's about to be time for questions, questions and, and answers. answers. It's time for <coughs> questions, questions and, and answers. <coughs> it is the part of the show where one of us asks a question. And the other one has an answer. That is what you ask and that is what you get. Ugh. You get what you get and you do not get upset. No way, Jose. Let me shoot you with the question slingshot. Oh no. Oh yeah, careful, watch your eyes. <laughs> watch your eyes. And stay out of the eyes and the face. So imagine you're at a family dinner. Okay. And you're like trying to not appear, or maybe you're in some situation where you're trying not to appear as high. Let's say you're going to a job interview. Okay. Do you think, how would you feel like you would do? Ooh, okay. This a job interview and a dinner are two different things. But both are s scenarios where like... <coughs> you're trying to impress the folks. You're trying, to impress, you're trying to impress the person you're conversating with and you're trying to keep a very professional composure. Um, I would say I'd be able to keep myself in that state of mind and be able to hold up in a pretty good uh, you know, so, so your name's Gabe, huh? Uh, that's what my friends call me. What makes you think you could be a sandwich artist here at Subway? Well, uh, I'm committed to making sure the team is at its optimum efficiency. Uh, I'm a clean nice. worker. Uh, I just like to make sure my spaces are maintained and orderly. Uh, oh, okay. I also make sure that I'm punctual to a T, so oh. you'll never see me late. I'm always on time or early. I noticed you were 15 minutes early. Just an example. That's great, that's so good. Oh. Now, what do you think about tomatoes? 
Well, I am under the firm belief that they must be either thinly sliced if they're in whole quarters, or if they're diced, that can be used uh, in many different ways. You're promoted head chef of Subway. Head Subway artist. <sighs> and uh, I think it'd be a classic example of a, of a very clear-minded high provided by Tropicana. <clears throat> wow. That's Thank amazing. Wow, I'm blown away. I'm blown away. That was such an accurate, real-life simulation. <laughs> the, like, the, the, the VR, like, <laughs> shuts down. <laughs> like, danger room in X-Men. Yo, I think I'm ready to enter the danger room. Oh shit, okay. Ready? I'm ready. <laughs> okay. Mm. So, uh, it says here uh, you've uh, been involved with a prior investigation with the law on your... I used to work at Blockbuster Video. Oh, okay. And, and what happened there? Well, I worked there for about three years, and then um, they went out of business. Right, And right. that was the last job I've had. That would explain the gap here. Um, but can you tell us why you'd be committed uh, to, you know, working here at the Starbucks? Oh, yeah. Well, first of all, coffee's my middle name. You know, you're not lying. <laughs> Yes, absolutely. Cream and sugar, like I practically breathe it. It's it's practically it's in my veins. Well, it needs you know? to be. Yeah, absolutely. Like I, when I touch coffee beans, I feel energized. <laughs> very, very good. Espresso spelled with an S, not an X. <laughs> A lot of people don't know that, you know. I know. <laughs> That's like, I'm glad. And I'm very good at spelling people's names, and I'm a, I'm a responsive listener. I can tell. You have been so far. Yeah, I listen and I respond. You that do? Is what, I, that's what I do. <laughs> Anyways, you know how, how, what kind of temperature you should heat a scone at? What, what, what temperature? <laughs> Not anything above 350. Good to know. Good to know. What happens yeah. if I bring it up to you? Uh, oh, it's, it's going to come out wrong. Oh, no. Yeah, that would explain my previous batch. Well, you know what? I think we should open you up a, a special aspect of our, our cafes. A specialist. Yes, you'll be our scone specialist. The, Scar the Starbucks scone specialist. Uh, here's my card. No. You're calling us tomorrow. <laughs> no, thanks. The expression of a power move. I, I appreciate that. I'm gonna go work at the video store down the street. Well, hopefully it doesn't end up like Blockbuster you were working at. Uh, this is an adult video. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll see you later this evening. <laughs> it's time for bold. <laughs> it's time, it's time for bowl number, number two. two. Do you wanna? Hypothesize about bowl number two. Uh, you want to eat? Should I we will just dive say, in? I say, if bowl two, you know, is as tasty as I think it's gonna be. Oh, the ta yeah, it's tasty. It's it's one of these yummy little treats that I'm really enjoying. Drop it in my mouth. Um, it it, it the the taste does not like leave. It, it it's it stays and it's nice, pleasant. It's like it's it's very much like enjoying like. A snack, or almost like a, a similar, like almost like a mint. You are making me hungry. I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna tear into some food like a vicious animal after this. Then why don't we tear into this bowl first? <sighs> All right. To good health. To good health. Okay. So, I'm super hungry right now. So that's definitely uh, something to note about the effects of this yeah. strain. It's that it's, it causes a lot of appetite stimulation, which can be useful for a lot of people. Yeah, or it's something to note if you're looking to avoid anything that's going to make you eat, if you're trying to uh, abstain from any sort of eating habits. That you yeah, saw. based on this Both situation, ways. it has rendered me hungry. There's been other occasions where I've also been hungry from this. I'd say it's rather a consistent effect. Okay. For me, at least. I have also noticed that, like, by bowl two, I'm starting to feel it in my eyes. Yeah. They're just feeling, like, a little, a little heavy. 
Not in the sense where I feel tired. I just feel like just my eyes and my eyelids themselves are just like hanging loose. Yeah, my, my body is definitely like feeling relaxed, which is nice. By bolt, like we're, we just started bowl two and yeah, I think it's starting to show its hand of its medicinal properties. Yeah. It's like, all right, you know, appetizer's over. Let's bring out the big plates. This is the big plate? There's, there's, I mean, the big plate is like the start of the main course, but there's multiple different foods coming out, you know? Right, right. My God, I'm, yeah. <clears throat> it's like a Brazilian steakhouse. They're coming by with like steak. They're coming by with all sorts of sausages. They're coming by with chicken. You know, this is, yeah, this is definitely a very hearty bowl. For sure. Yes. Uh, the, the first one was like, you know, I, I'm just on the first one and some change. And I'm definitely feeling pretty like relaxed and, you know, I'm starting to feel it in my head, definitely. It's definitely a treat. It's tasty, it's a smooth and easy smoke to, to just you know, breathe out. We should, every time we mention that it's tasty, we should smoke, we should smoke a bowl. We, we, should, we, should, we, should, we should hit it. And it's purple. Yeah, the buds themselves are quite beautiful. It's a, very much a, a flower to, to gaze at for, for a while before you, you know, grind it. Or, Slice it however you do with scissors or fancy grinders, what have, what have you. Yeah. It is it's a very beautiful looking flower. It is very relaxing. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm starting to feel like my head's low way down. Yeah. I feel like I'm thinking about so many things right now. That's the opposite of what I was feeling at bowl number one. Right, definitely like. Bowl number one was definitely like, I'm not, I'm thinking about, I'm just chilling out right now. And now, I'm, you know, it's, it's definitely handing me a wrench. <laughs> very heavy one. <laughs> a very heavy one. You're like, ooh, feel okay. bad. How long do I hold this? How long do I hold this? <laughs> You're like, I'll be, he's like, I'll be right back. And he gets in his truck. I'm like, where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> like, where do I put this? <laughs> I, don't uh, know, I don't know which side to put this down. <laughs> I don't think I would do very good in the job interview. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Once we're at a, at a bowl and some change. Yeah. I would like. I would not want to be. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be at work. <laughs> yeah, that that would that would be like real hard to do if you were like part of like I don't know if you were like working with any sort of like a customer assistant role or if you're like <laughs> if you're like trying to direct anyone like yes uh, go stand over there yes uh, so you'll you'll find this over there in this section and you're trying to like remember like a layout of like previously mentioned things like it'd be it'd be really really hard. Yeah, it's um, like where's the Aquafina? Uh, that's in aisle, uh, 13. You don't sound too sure. I don't think it's, it's there. It's your job to know. I'm sorry. I'm so disappointed. I didn't mean to disappoint you. I'm disappointed. I'm sorry. Man. Yeah. It could happen to you, so be aware. Know when to stop. A message from Socially Stunned. Now we know. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe! <laughs> no one to stop. Yeah, that is definitely important because, you know, you don't want to get, you know, if, if, if you have to do something, you, know, you just got to be careful, you know? You don't always need to get blasted. You get a whole blasting. I'm gonna go to the DMV, let me get blasted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta go stand in line. <laughs> let me just get absolutely cooked real fast. You know, I, you're like, oh yeah. Oh I've, fuck, I left that form in the car. Oh like, man. I had to get back in line. Oh no. Honey, I was at the DMV for four hours today. Oh yeah, let me just smoke three bowls of Tropicana before, uh, 
taking this math test. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck that. Oh my God. <laughs> Not going to go Jesus, too well. Jesus, the math test. We need to have a math test. <laughs> Socially stoned math test? Yeah. What's 13 times 12? Fuck, I don't, I can't do that right now. <laughs> uh, let's see here, 13 times 12, it's like a six. And then, uh, you know, three times two, it's another six, it's a seven, so it's like 76. I think you're right. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. To mathematics. To mathematic. To mathematicus. To math. To mathematicus. <laughs> May you rest in <laughs> peace. Mathematicus. Oh my God. <laughs> rest <laughs> in peace, Spanish class. <laughs> <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, <clears throat> this bowl. Uh, it would. It would pair really good with uh, maybe a pastry. Of some sort. Like if they, if they if this was Food. if this was available at like a coffee shop, this oh that'd be crazy. Imagine oh. this with like a, like a like a freaking blood orange tea. What? Ooh. What? That'd be oh crazy. Oh god. Brew me up some tea with my joint, please. Like in a scone for me. In a scone. The flavor of this is almost so there. It's like, you wish you could just it, like pair it with something. Immediately your brain is like, this needs to go with something. If it's not an activity, it's a food. If it's not a food, it's a place. If it's not a place, it's, you know. Yeah. It's gotta, it's gotta combine with something, you know? Yeah. It's almost like having fireworks. Like, gotta do something with it. Take it camping, take it to the beach, take it to a party. I don't know, they're fireworks. But it's gotta be paired with something, you can't just have it in your room. Bad example, anyways. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just like, I'm in the multiverse of madness right now. Oh, so many twists and bends. It's like Benedict Cumberbatch, just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I was oh like, an impression. <laughs> what? No, God, no. I, I, I can't have that on my resume of impressions. I do a mean Benedict Cumberbatch. I'm Benedict Cumberbatch. What? <laughs> <laughs> you played the Grinch, you know. In which, what, what? He did? <laughs> he played the Grinch, yeah. Which, which one? They made, uh, they remade the Grinch. Uh, oh, the Illumination? Yeah, Illumination's Grinch. Oh. He, was, he was the voice of the Grinch. Sick. I ate all of my who hash. That's so sick. Man. Let's keep sparking through this. Let's keep sparking through this. You know? We got one more after this. We'll make it through. I hope so. <laughs> make it one piece. <laughs> Was this still discounted when you when you bought it? Oh yeah, nice. twenty dollar eighth. Baby. Twenty dollar eighth. I, I appreciate places that or anyone that makes their prices of cannabis reasonable, and I mean that to a certain extent of what the cost was to produce it and package it, ship it, and make it readily available. I really do appreciate the affordability of it. I do too. Heck yeah for affordability. Greatly appreciated. Greatly appreciated to have affordable medicine in this day and age. Uh, especially to have an affordable alternative medicine that's available for most people. That's a very, very, very beautiful thing. Just something to note, this is a part of that. Yeah. <clears throat> to affordable medicine. To the Affordable Care Act. <laughs> Went from zero to political real fast. 
<laughs> Man. <laughs> oh, well. Oh. Let's go, Brandon. Am I right? <laughs> I'm taking sips. Hashtag sipping. Sipping. Man over there is sipping, you know? Sipping away with his pinky out, you know? Real fancy man with, with his fancy plans of sipping. So far along in bowl number two, I'm feeling whew, pretty put at ease mentally. My emotions are just very leveled out in a positive way as well. Like, my brain is no longer like, you know, compacted with so many different, you know, plans and things I need to get done and, you know, people I'm interacting with and connections I have to upkeep. It's just, what's in front of me? And what do I need for myself? And that feels fantastic. And I also want to note that this is making me feel a lot in regards of physical relief as well. I noticed that from the beginning of this review, which wasn't previously mentioned, I had uh, <clears throat> a lot of actual neck pain um, from earlier this day in my, uh, from just from working and my, my occupation just involves a lot of looking up and down from a screen and addressing people. Um, and uh, I had a lot of bad neck pain from that. And throughout this experience, it has drifted away. I think for me, it has uh, sat me down at my desk in my mind and put me in a rather contemplative state where I often find my attention, you know, weighing from like thinking into what's going on right now. Yeah. Which is interesting, because you know, that's different than uh, you know some of the other strains that we've had. At least you know how it affects me. Yeah. You know, so it's cool. That's the whole point of this. You know, we're like guinea pigs. Yeah, pretty so much. So then you could just be like, hmm, okay. Interesting. Interesting reaction. That's what happened to those guys. Yeah. Can't be that bad, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good way of putting it as well. Is it does put me into a slower, more like reflective, more of an introspective place. Like it is, it, it doesn't, I wouldn't say this puts me in a very outwardly um, expressive mode. Yeah. Um, like I would say this doesn't really make me want to like, I, I, I wouldn't really pair this well at a, a social function. Ooh, yeah. Um, if I was at like local coffee shop that I like going to, I probably wouldn't, <laughs> I don't know. I, it's really hard to say cause I'm not actually there and I'm just kind of going off of how I feel right now, but. You know, I, I don't feel like dealing with all that, maybe. And this makes me want to like cozy in and, you know, maybe listen to music or something. Yeah. It's cool, it does get me thinking, which is cool. That's, that's always nice. I think it is uh, about time for, for. questions and answers. Oh, it's the part of the show where one of us asks a question. And the other one has an answer. Do you want me to ask the question first this time? Yeah, this time, you, you give, it a, give it a shot. Okay. Stemming off of our conversation earlier, what kind of music would you want to listen to right now after these bowls? Mm. <laughs> Um, that's a good question. There's a part of my brain that just wants to say classical music. But there's also like, like if I were to get my car right now, I probably wouldn't want to listen to that.
That's my answer. <laughs> so, not classical music is your answer. Not quite. I mean, like, I don't know what I'd want to listen to right now. It'd probably be Harry Nilsson. I found out that he did an album with John Lennon. That's fun, right? That's pretty cool. John Lennon produced it during his Lost Weekend. Lost Weekend? Apparently, he, he Ringo, and Harry Nelson. I, I guess, like, I, I'm paraphrasing it, but it, it was like a, like a bender that was supposed to be a weekend, but lasted like a year and a half. <laughs> Where they're just like getting wow. drunk and rowdy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Imagine you're with John Lennon and you're like heckling someone at like a comedy show, like, <laughs> like drunk. Just, just blackout drunk. Hey, you're not that funny. <laughs> Why is he a microphone? <laughs> oh, Jesus. That sounds like what an experience. So, like, I, I found that out this morning. But yeah, <clears throat> that's probably what I listened to. And for the, for the kids at home, who is, who is that guy, they might be asking. Right, Harry Nelson. He's made some songs that once you look them up, you're gonna be like, oh wow, he wrote those songs? And then you're gonna be like, whoa. And then you find out a lot of his other stuff's pretty good too. He's like uh, in the same vein of my Paul Simon and Garfunkel that I enjoy. And he's got a cool voice and a great album called The Point. And that's what Harry Nelson is. Gabe, I have a question for you. Oh, yes. What shape do mm. you feel like? Right now, I feel like, I feel like a triangle. Um, rectangle. Ooh, okay. Yeah. You're feeling like a rectangle? A little more stable, yeah. Ooh, okay, all right, yeah. all right. Well, <laughs> it's about that time for something sublime. Or something we like to call full number three. <laughs> oh, that's delicious. <coughs> Man, it's it's very close to candy. Say I had to write an essay prompt right now. Okay. Someone give me an essay prompt. Anyone out there? Um, if you saw a wolf uh, uh, had uh, an injured leg, um, but it injured itself on its way to, you know, eat a, a rabbit, would you heal the wolf? Essay question. Firstly, if I were a hunter in the forest and I saw a wolf who was injured, who was on its way to um, to kill a uh, baby rat of some sort. Rabbit. Rabbit. A baby. If I, seeing that wolf kill the little baby rabbit and it got injured on the way there, would I heal it? Well, firstly, I would heal it with the first aid knowledge that I know. Secondly, I probably wouldn't heal it all the way because then it might bite me. Thirdly, I probably wouldn't, uh, I would probably have to kill the wolf if it were trying to fight me, but I hope I could be its friend. And these are my reasons on why I would do what I did with the wolf. Firstly, um, hopefully the wolf doesn't try to bite me. Um, because if it did, it would leave a mark. So like, I probably wouldn't want to get near it, perhaps, but I guess it is injured. So, well, I guess I don't need to get involved with the wolf. What? <laughs> <laughs> that's big. See, that's, that's the kind of, I don't know. You're, you're, you, you nailed the intro. Yeah. You got, a, you got one paragraph done, you know? Well, I'd probably come back to it later, you know? What if it's, a, the time test. And there I am with erasing, erasing shavings, <laughs> pencil racing shavings. All over the place. Over the you can still see the words. Do they, do they still use pencils in pencil <laughs> schools? No, you just type. No way. God. 
I was there for the pencil. Yeah, we were the last batch. Oh, I remember racing. Remember, you remember, you remember erasable pens? Yeah. Those sucked. Yeah. Those were not good at doing their job. They just smeared shit. They did not erase anything. I can only use G2 gel pilot pens. Those are great. Those pens are always great and they work 100% of the time. I love me a Paper Mate ink, Joy. Yo, the Paper Mates are good. Those are good, those are fun. I like using those. I think our, our eyesight has gotten, has worsened. You know, pencil used to be, they used to write with a feather back then. And they did the pencil and then after all these years now we're just like, put it in the pen. Yeah, use a Sharpie. <laughs> <laughs> so, why don't we hop back in this canoe and, and get on through. Bowl number oh. three. <laughs> I was like, how is he gonna save it? <coughs> Plot twist. <laughs> he wasn't. <laughs> this would be good for like bubble baths. A bubble bath. A bubble bath. Yeah. This would be good for like uh like a warm bath with a bath bomb. Yeah, aromatherapy. Or, or a can or a candle. A candle, ooh, a nice, like, smelling, nice. Like, like, a scent. You, you, smell. you picked it out, and it was a nice, good candle, you know? Oh, yes. Uh, getting a nice candle is delightful. Some nice couple bowl, a few bowls of this, and a bubble bath. You know, that's that's where I'd want to be, you know? Curling up with my my limited edition to kill a mockingbird. <laughs> limited edition? Yeah, what is it? It's a ooh, <laughs> steel case to kill a mockingbird. Wow, I'm sure Atticus is extra poised in that edition. <laughs> now I told you not to come down to the courthouse. And what did you do, Scout? You came to the courthouse against my words. I'm sorry, Daddy. I didn't mean to disappoint you. Well, but you can find more. At tequillamockingbird.com. We need to make our own to kill a mockingbird. <laughs> oh no, no, we don't. We can run with the tire. <laughs> Atticus, will you play football with us? I agreed not to because the other team is mostly comprised of Protestants. I had to shoot that dog. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, I forgot about that fucking scene. It's to shoot a dog of rabies. Anyways, let's keep uh let's keep on let's, let's, chugging. Let's keep it let's keep a tree. Let's bowl up the tree. <laughs> Man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I would say. If you needed something before a massage, this would be good. So far, I am feeling myself get very bogged down. Yeah. This is far more than I expected. Yeah. Start a bowl one, I was like feeling like, oh, this is nice. This feels like a like a nice, like, like, like a, like a cocktail hour almost. Strawberry diesel. Yeah, yeah, and then bowl number three, we're like, we're at approaching Afghani vibes. Yeah, I'm approaching like a, I don't know. We're, we're getting like, real sleepy and yeah, tired. Cut it, goodbye. Yeah, I'm like, I'm, I'm really looking forward to laying down. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling very excited to, to eat. I'm very hungry. And after I eat, I am very excited to go to bed. You know, look at this bowl. It's 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 almost freaking done. Let's let's send her off. Let's keep on going. Let's keep on going. I would say if you're camping and you're having a hard time resting, yo, this will help. A little like, let me just unzip the tent a little bit. Roll a little number. Smoke it real fast. Or maybe if like, 
hey, if your partner is chill like that, or if you're camping by yourself, just smoke it in the fucking tent, you know? That's what camping's for. Fuck it. It just, like, it will relax your mind at first. You lay it down, it's gonna take, like, the rest of yourself with you. It's gonna pull all your energy. It's gonna, it's gonna just make you wanna coast, lay back. And if you're not ready to fall asleep, you're just ready to just like sit and think. I, I wish you were able to like smoke in water parks. That would be great. That would be cool. To be able to have like like a la like lazy river, just like you know be fucking awesome. This would be like, this is this is a good like, float in the pool, float in the lazy river, float in the, if you're, if you're going tubing with friends down an actual river, like, this would be great weed for that. Going tubing. Going tubing, just like, somebody's got drinks, you brought this, and no one is upset. Yeah. It's a sleepy cookie. Yeah. You just you take a one bite, you're like, oh, that's it's it's a yummy snack, and then you're like, oh man, this is this is sinking me. It's like I had a whole meal. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'd be careful with the overindulgence of this one. You know, if you're, if you're like, yo, I'm gonna smoke four blunts of this. Whoa. <laughs> I, I don't think you're gonna do much that day. No, you're going back to bed. <laughs> yeah. That's the first thing that's happening after that. Like, like I said earlier, like you know, you sprinkle some of that in with some other stuff, it, it could be tasty, you know, so you're gonna get all that flavor without like, you know, you know, if you're smoking something like, I don't know, if I was, if I was smoking like orange fish cake in this, you know, that'd be, that'd be pretty chill. Yeah. Like, but if you're like, if you're like having a day where you're like, all right, uh, I'm just gonna do this, 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 this. I'm gonna take a quick break, smoke a few bowls of Tropicana cookies, no. and then go back to this, 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 this. That might sink your battleship halfway through the process. Man. Like imagine mixing this with orange kush cake and strawberry diesel. Oh my gosh. That's Fruit a, salad. Fruit salad. Yummy, yeah, yummy. Yeah, they're pretty good. Shout out to the Wiggles. They were the real ones. That would be a delicious bowl. If you had all of those together. I just feel like my, my head is very much in a sleep zone and my body is very much in a relaxed muscles and a hungry stomach. A lot of winding down, you know? That's what I would recommend this for in most cases. Um, and in lighter dosages, it could be used for like, if you're having, uh, you know, your brain run wild or your emotions get the better of you, it can help with that in light doses. Yeah, a proper amount. You'll definitely be calm, but perhaps too much will, I don't know, based off my experience, it's like a little more introspective. I think it's about time for questions and answers. All right. All right. I feel right now like like a snickerdoodle flavored ice cream. Mm. You know? Like like there's like vanilla and 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 like there's like cake crumbs in there and like cinnamon sugar and stuff. It's like it's like cinnamon toast crunch was like an ice cream. I definitely feel like a uh, rocky rogue caramel Chocolate, ice cream, very thick. It feels like I'm like twinkling away into like uh, this dreamy, introspective, in your head, away we go, kind of yeah. cloud. Thank, thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you guys for watching. 
And if you like this and you want to see more, definitely click the subscribe button down below. Thank you for staying to the end. Please go follow our other socials. We really appreciate the support. We appreciate you guys for giving us any sort of shout outs or comments, any, any sort of like suggestions, anything. We want to hear from you guys. We want to interact. Let us interact. Feel free to reach out. Let's, let's get social source wise. And you know, thank you guys for watching. And remember to, to stay, stay social. social.